Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to conclude Group D. Another tight group here. Well, unless you're Broxy and you're already through and already group winners. But anyway, in this session, we are going to see Man going up against Team North America, Lad going up against Xeno Slick Goku, and then Broxy taking on Silver Knight. So yeah, big, big round this. But as I said, Broxy's already through, Man is already through, so these two can relax. But, as, but we still got two places yet to be confirmed. So let's find out who will go through, who will go through and who will go home. Oh, okay, we're in the Arid Field. Right, in the red corner, for Marn, we've got the T-Rex. It's already job done in terms of qualification, and well, Marn can't win the group because they don't have the head-to-head -head against Broxy, and Broxy's four points ahead of them. So yeah, Marn can't win the group, so they don't will. They really have nothing to play for here, but ideally, you want to finish second. So you can end up on a more favourable matchup. Backing up the T-Rex, you got Bronthikins. Although, from what we've seen so far, it looks like the left side of the draw of the knockout rounds is going to be a lot more intense than the right side. And I should point out that the group, the Broxy, is going to be on the left side. And could face Ultima Dino King in the last 60. Or quarterfinals, maybe, yeah. Right, anyway, as for Team North America, in the blue corner, we've got Starachosaurus. Well, it's in Team North America's hands. You know, they are currently sitting in fourth, and a win for them will guarantee a last 32 spot. And it will also... Actually, no, it won't guarantee that Lad and All Silver Knights, one of them will be knocked out. Because they could both get bonus point wins, and then Xeno will drop down, and... Oh, it's gonna be confusing. It's gonna... It's gonna be confusing. It's gonna be insane. But let's see what happens. Right. You know what's funny? It's like 9 o'clock at night. I never record at this time of day. Crazy, isn't it? I'm usually getting ready for bed. Right, no terrain advantages. Oh, hang on, no. Bronthikins will have terrain disadvantage. Right. Um, swap in. Okay, so they both want to swap when HP's below half. Makes it easier for me. That's a good start from the Strachosaurus there. Team North America determined to keep that... Stay in the top four. But a magma blaster's coming from the T-Rex. Ooh, ooh, Brontekin getting in on the act with a support effect. Good start there from uh, Marn. That's not below half, but the T-Rex will be going for scissors. Ooh, that's a tie. Dodging that bullet there. And that should put the T-Rex below half, I feel like. Maybe? No, I think that's just above. Okay, now it's definitely below half. Oh, but the Starachosaurus gets the swap! Drop the kids is not going to come in because the T-Rex survived. Oh, how big could that be? The Uteraptor has to come in. Bronthikins is going to get hit. And remember, Bronthikins has terrain disadvantage as well. Big problem that could be for Marn. Although, a burning dash here. Oh, that's a tie. Oof. Dodge that bullet there, Team Wolf America. <coughs> right, with the terrain disadvantage Brontekins has, the Uteraptor will in fact get the next hit. Oh, here comes a Cyclone. Can Marn get back in this match? He is going to have a problem with the Strachosaurus, though. The Strachosaurus is going to type advantage. So, yeah. Not good if you're Marn, but again, they're already through, so... Don't need to panic if they lose this match. But they don't really want to lose. They want to win. <laughs> and that Hydro Cut will definitely help. As well, the recovery coming in there. Light recovery, I should say. Time to swap out the Uteraptor, it's a tie. Oh, he's not getting the swap. Brotigans gets the hit. Takes out the Uteraptor. Strachosaurus will get hit as well. Now this is interesting, because Strachosaurus, even though it's on low health, got the type advantage over Brontekins. That could be key. 
But that Hydro Cutter has not been triggered. Oh, is that a crit? Okay, oh yeah, his Neck Crusher is going to kill it. Oosh. Down she goes. And that is another win for Mar. Finishing their, finishing their group stage on a high. Going into the knockout rounds. Marn looking in good shape there. And that will guarantee that he finishes second in this group. But we'll have a look at the table before we move on to the next match. Well, nothing Well, nothing has changed, to be honest. Marn getting four wins out of five, finishing on 12 points. And it, that's surprisingly, not getting any bonus points, which is very unusual for, for the guys at the top. I think only Dragon Destroyer top, at the top of Group H. Four wins, no bonus points. Interesting. But, yep. Yeah, Man secure in second place. I mean, that is a guarantee now because they have the head-to-head -head advantage over Xeno Slick Goku. But yeah, let's on to our next matchup in this session. And wow, what a contest. What a massive game this is for, well, it's for Xeno as well. They're in third place, but if they do lose this match to Lad, they will be in fourth place and will have to hope and pray that Silver Knights did not get a bonus point win against Broxy. And as for Team North America, because they did lose, they are, well, they have to hope that both Lad and Silver Knights get defeated in these upcoming matches. So yeah, let's go on with our second match. Well, will Lad make it two wins in this, on the spin? Oh, on this field? Probably not. Right, for Lad, in the red corner, we got the Indosuchus. Definitely saw the damage it can do. It shredded Silver Knight to ribbons. But on this field, I think it's going to struggle. Not because it has terrain disadvantage. Right, backing up the Indosuchus, we've got the Megdosaurus. Haven't really seen too much of this dude. But yes. Well, at least lad, for lad, they don't need to win to get a bonus point win. They just need to win. Skip. Right then, in the blue corner. For Xeno Goku, we got the Gygas. And yes, this is why I feel like lads might struggle in this match. Because they got the Gygas. Because they're going up against Gygas. So not only does Gygas have terrain advantage, it's got the type advantage over Indosukas as well. Yeah. Brutal. Brutal. Although, an opening for lads here is that this Uopolis Athletes will have terrain disadvantage. So if he can get past the Gygas, it's on. But yeah, this... This field and the tight matchup definitely put Zeno in the driving seat. And I should point out, a win for Zeno will, well, will get them through to the last 32 safely. A win for Lad will get them through and knock out Team North America at the same time. But on this field, you've got to fancy Zeno. At least the Indosuchus will swap out. Oh, it's not going to have much health left. But at least they'll get a chance to swap out. And yeah, Zeno wants to swap when HP's below half, by the way. Ooh, he gets the swap. That could be crucial. The Nemectosaurus does come in with type advantage over Gygus. Good response here from Lad, but need to get some momentum going. Oh, it's a hit, but again, with a type advantage, won't do much damage. Oh, wow, it did no damage. The poison will change that, though, as will the Aqua Vortex. Oh, as will this Flare Sword, I should say. Oh, nope, Volcano Burst. Wheels have come off a little bit for Xeno in recent matches, but they're looking strong so far. Oh, that's a crit. That could be a big crit for Lad, though. A tragedy of the sphere. And will this end in tragedy for Xeno? Whoa, look at the damage! Impressive. The poison, though, is taking its toll. And it is time to swap the, the Nemegdosaurus. Oh, but Xeno gets the swap. Gets the crit. More poison, apparently. Oh, is this Flare Sword? No, it's Volcano Burst again. 
and we'll save the Geigers for later. Saving Grace though, the Nemectosaurus will get the next hit because of the, the terrain advantage the Aquacephalus has. Yeah, it doesn't look good for Ladia. Oh, there's another hit. Down goes the Megdosaurus. And it's all on Indosuka as well. Indosuka has experience of shredding Eurocephalus, so it's on. But yeah, look at that. Xeno's on, on top now. And things not looking good. And there it is. Game over. Game over for Lad. And game over for them in this tournament. Yeah, that the terrain advantage didn't help at all. That gave Zeno the early momentum. And they just went on from there. Right. Well, that's commiserations to Lad. You know, they put up a little bit of a fight there. They put up a fight. But yeah, as I said, the terrain advantage, the type advantage, it wasn't a good matchup for Lad. But as for Zeno... They had a bit of a hiccup, but they're going through. But they've secured a last 32 spot, and I think that will guarantee them third place as well. But we'll have a look at the table before going into the final match. So, yep, that is how Group D looks at the minute. We have Zeno Slick Goku securing third, a third place finish and their spot in the last 32 with our bonus point win over Lad. And, yeah, commiserations to Lad. They, you know, it is always nice to see someone try... Like a completely wild team like lads. And it's always nice to see them. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. And unfortunately for lad. I just don't think it worked. Right. On to our final match. Which is Broxy against Silver Knights. And so yeah. That does open the door for Silver Knights. In all honesty. And given how impressive Broxy has been in this tournament. Doesn't seem likely. Right. In the red corner for Broxy. Who has already won Group D. We got a Margosaurus. Broxy being one of the most impressive combatants in this tournament. Backing up the Amargosaurus, we got Stegosaurus. Okay, we are on the Sunset Beach Field, which is actually... Ooh, no, because they both got Water Dinosaurs in second. <laughs> I was going to say good news for Broxy and bad news for Silver Knights, but Silver Knights has, has, has Spiny in first. And speak of the devil, in the blue corner for Silver Knights, we got Spinosaurus. No, Spiny. Well, it is the Spinosaurus, but Spiny. <laughs> Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, I think they both want to. Yeah, they both want to swap when HP's in the red as well, so. Even if they lose. Well, Silver Knights need a bonus point win, so they can't afford to lose a dino. Backing up Spiny, we've got you up Plecephalus. Right, let's see what this match has in store for us. It is a big one. Ooh, that's a tie. Well, the last thing Silver Knights would want is to get hit by that crit. Ooh, but they're going to get a crit of their own. A strong start from Silver Knights. Ooh, very strong start. Well, they need it. Alpha Dice coming in here, and well, if ever they needed a six. Oh, they got a six. Severe damage done to Amargosaurus. Oh, it's dead. That was quick. Oh, big Big fast start from Spiny. This is exactly what Silver Knights needed. Well, Broxy, you know, they got one eye on the last 32 round now because they've already gone through as group winners. Hmm. Seems like a bit of that at the moment. Is it? Turn the cannon! Can Silver Knights do it? Remember, they need a boat. Only a bonus point win will be enough to take them through. They win it. Oh, they won it. Oh, they've almost got it. One hit, a tile duet. 
Ooh, but the stake gets the hit. I mean, this does nothing because it's got no health. Is that going to be enough? This should be... Well, very convincing there. Job done for Silver Knights. A massive result. Well, Broxy, well, again, they've won the group. They've been impressive. They, you know, if you had your off day, at least it was now, you know? So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. But as for Silver Knights storming into the last 32 round and knocking out Team North America. But, right, let's have a look at how Group D finished. Well, that is how Group D finishes, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, we have Broxy topping the group, winning the group there on 13 points. Mainly courtesy of all the four bonus points they've racked up. Then we have Marn in second place with actually more wins than Broxy, but 12 points because they didn't get any bonus points. Xeno Slick Goku also on 12 points, but below Marn by virtue of the fact that they lost to Marn. Then we have Silver Knight stomping their way into fourth place, just about securing the last 32 spot with 8 points. And then we have Team North America and Lad out of the tournament. And yeah, wow, really interesting group T. So let's see who these guys could be facing in the last 32. Well, yeah, here's all the group D dudes put in this spot. So yes, Broxy will feature in the first match of the knockout round, going up against whoever finishes fourth in group G, which could be anybody, to be honest, because that group is tight as hell. And then we have Silver Knights, a daunting match, going up against whoever wins group H. Which at the minute is Dragon Destroyer, but it could be Blood Moon. Really tough match. And then we have... Oh, we have a matchup down here. Man going up against MEJP10. Ooh, that could be a really interesting match. Really intriguing. And then Xeno Slick Goku down here going up against whoever finishes runner-up in Group G. But yeah, an interesting bracket. So yeah, if, I suspect there'll be either our host Stranger Gamer or Maastrician in down here. So yeah, it's going to be a tough run for Zeno this time to get to the semis. They'll most likely have to run into Diddy Darius as well. But yeah, that's it. That's going to conclude this session here. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, ta-ta.